Ah, yes. Welcome back. It is Say Less Footy tip time, your favorite time of the week. Uh, we go through all the games, uh, break them down, see who we're tipping. And at the end, we do a little uh, wrap up and we throw in our bet of the week. Um, probably an anytime try score bet. Uh, I'm going to think about it as we go through. Um, I have a little idea, but I just want to give it a bit more thought. Um, last week, Almost got eight out of eight. That would have been two weeks in a row. But the Rabbitohs, Rabbitohs let us down. Um, the Knights just kept marching on. And our bet of the week got up, which was the Melbourne Storm to win um, over the points, along with Eli Katoa and Xavier Coates with a try. Got up. Hope you all got your money on that. Uh, doing pretty well out of the bet of the week. Uh, yeah. Something got something good in store for you, I think, this week. Fingers crossed. Anyway, if you haven't already, head over to TikTok, Instagram, and uh, give us a like, subscribe, subscribe here. Uh, yeah, let's get into it because I'm pretty excited. Uh, second last round of the year. Ooh. It feels like it was. Uh, doesn't feel that long ago where the season started. So uh, two games left of the proper season. And look, a few nothing, uh, no, to be honest, a, f a few nothing games this this week. But, I mean, a, a couple of good games with a couple of top eight teams uh, still playing for position. Uh, there's a couple of tricky games because of teams just on the cusp of the eight that can get tripped up with some teams trying to avoid the spoon or... You know, just trying to be a nuisance. Um, got some good young players getting blooded through also with some of the teams out of contention. It's still bound to be an awesome round of footy. And that's right, it's just two more rounds and then we hit finals time. Um, if you're like me and your team is not going to be in the finals, pitch your wagon to someone else. As I always say, well, I have been saying lately, I'm uh, I'm on the I'm on the Warriors this season. It'd be great to see them win after spending the last few years uh, away from home to keep the competition going. So, yeah, uh, let's get into it, hey? Let's get straight into it with our Thursday night game. Panthers versus Eels. Now, big rivalry here. Battle of the West. Um, yeah, Eels out of contention for finals. No Mitch Moses. The Panthers just absolutely humming. Um, no Mitch Kenny. So, they've actually brought in Jack Cogger into the hawking role. Um, I didn't actually even look, did he play it last week? But you got to think at the start of the year, Mitch Kenny was there and then Sonny Luke is this, uh, you know, this next big thing coming through. But Sonny Luke hasn't been able to nail down that that hooking position. Uh, I thought it would be his by this end of the season. But yeah, and especially Cogger already signed to Newcastle for next season. So in any case, uh, staying on track for the game. Yeah, Panthers should definitely win this. I mean, they're not, you know, Brian Toto is back. They're not resting anyone as of, uh, you know, the day before the game. Um, looks like full strength. I think they'll probably rest players in the last game of the season up against the Cowboys, which is a benefit to the Cowboys, but could have some ramifications on the eight as well. I mean, you're a silly, silly man if you're betting against the Panthers at this point. Uh, maybe wait until we get into finals time to uh, hedge your money against them. But yeah, Panthers should win that one. On to Friday now. We've got Warriors up against Dragons. Dragons, nothing to play for. A little bit of pride. The Warriors, um, it's it's in Auckland again, but they need to be careful. Like they've only been winning the games sort of uh, by, you know, a couple of late try or two. Like, they still look good. They still look sharp and attack, but it's just their defense. And I, I think it's a lot down the left-hand side. Um, they need to tidy that up a, a bit. I think we, we've seen a little bit of a change. Um, Josh Curran's come into the starting side in replace of Jackson Ford, back to the bench. This may just be tactical on who they're marking up against. This could be because a lot of the points have been leaked down that side. I think Jackson Ford's been fantastic, but I absolutely love Joshy Curran, like, Absolute legend of a bloke and really, really good player. I saw like a little tidbit from a, of an interview this week and obviously the Warriors are flying, but Josh Curran thinks that he's, uh, his season hasn't 
gone that well. So hopefully Josh Curran can hit some form for the uh for the end of the season. Yeah, Warriors, they'll still win this one against the Dragons. Like you just see the Dragons trying so hard with their few talented players that they have, and they're just trying to overplay and they're just getting frustrated. So Warriors should take care of the Dragons. The Dragons just need to just blood some young players. Just think of the future. Um, yeah, just give some few few young players a start over the next couple of weeks. Um, I mean, you know, caretaker coach Ryan Carr does he even bother. Like the team's fly nose next year. So who knows? Anyway, Warriors to win that one. On to the late game on Friday. And it's Dolphins up against Cowboys. The Cowboys really need to win their last two. Um yeah, with the Rabbitohs having the bye this week, it's a, it takes them to 30, so the Cowboys need to get to 30 points. Uh, I think they trail the Rabbitohs on four and against as well, so that's why they're just outside the eight. Yeah, it's it's like it's 50, 56 points, so yeah, they really need to work on the four and against here um, massively against the Dolphins. Dolphins just, you know, played really well, almost got the win against the Tigers. Um, this is in Suncorp, so yeah, a big Queensland derby. This could be a bit of a trip up for the Cowboys, so they need to be on their game. But looking at their team, it's back to like full strength start of the season. You know, Kyle felt back on his wing. Um, just uh, what do we got? Tamalolo in the front row. Like it's just very, very Tamalungi back on his wing out of the centers. We've got Zach Labor in the centers in place of Val Holmes, but it's pretty much almost, besides Zach, it is full strength. Looks like a fairly uh, full strength for the for the Dolphins. Um, Trey Fuller's the only out so far. Um, a lot of ins back in, Lemu Lemu, uh, Tabi Fido and Bromwich coming back in, and oh, Anthony Milford as well. On to the extended reserves bench, I see. Yeah, so this is a dangerous game for the Cowboys. Look, I'm going to tip the Cowboys, uh, but like not with a lot of confidence. Uh, as I said in my debrief early in the week, like Dearden and Townsend need to step up and just take control here. Otherwise, they're going to lose to the Dolphins and that's going to be season over for them. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on now. Uh, I'm tipping the Cowboys, not much confidence. Um, Storm up against the Titans, 3 o'clock Saturday game. This would be fantastic to watch if you're not doing anything Saturday afternoon. Uh, watch this game. The Storm, I believe, will win. They're red-hot favourites. You get $6.05 on sports bets for the Titans. But they're not going to lie down. Uh, Big Tino loves playing against uh, his old team. Um, Kieran Foran's back. Tom Weaver is in the seven again. Uh, played really well in a beaten team last week. Uh, Brimo's at the back. Uh, Jaden Campbell's out injured um yeah storm they've named ryan pappenhausen on extended reserves bench now i don't think he'll play i heard he had a bit of knee swelling he might be right but look if you're going to bring him in where are you going to put him um he i wouldn't run him straight back into fullback nick mean he's been doing a good job there i'd say maybe like slide him into the centers uh, maybe in place of Marion Seve, uh, because you don't want to sort of put him on the wing, because there's a bit more jumping involved, especially around like uh, you know, and a lot more kick returns. Same with the fullback, so slide him in, probably in the in the in the center. Can sort of use his passing game. We won't have to make a whole lot of tackles. Maybe five or six out there. I think it's perfect. Get him, get him up to match fitness, uh, and especially up against the Titans as well. I think I think it's a perfect game to bring him in. Uh, Ellie Katoa has been absolutely fantastic for Melbourne as well. Yeah, the the Titans forward pack just absolutely stacked. Tino playing at lock. Mo Fodawake is back. Uh, Jollof slots in, slots into prop. The feeder Cleese Haas. Yeah, um, Storm to win this one, and I think very comfortably. I I think they're going to shore up their top four spot. Um, on to the 5.30 game. It is Roosters up against Tigers. Danger game here for the Roosters. The Tigers are riding high on a bit of confidence with their win next week. And if they keep winning their games, they will avoid the wooden spoon. And that's the best they can hope for at the moment. 
Roosters without Teddy. Uh, Sam Walker back in the seven. Joey Manu is going to go to fullback, which is an absolutely fantastic fullback. And he'll absolutely kill it back there. So you've got Corey Allen sliding into the center position. So naming Sam Walker, like after you sort of dropped him for most of the year and then he got injured, I just think the Roosters have looked a lot better the last few weeks. And the last few weeks they've had um, they've had Drew Hutchison in the seven jersey. He's on the extended reserves bench. I think it's a little bit of a slap in the face. I think Hutchison has been very, very good for the Roosters. I just, I don't understand the point of bringing Walker back now after you've you've started to get on a roll and Hutchison was doing the job and doing it well. Um, got Appy back at nine for the Tigers. Will Smith back into seven. I've been, obviously, if you tuned in before, I screamed for Will Smith all season. Um, he, he had some really, really good passing and sort of brought a lot of shape to the Tigers' attack. Uh, defending wasn't the best. Um, if you look at the forward pack, the, the front row, well, actually, yeah, the whole front row on paper, it's a couple of young bulls in Stefano up against Lindsay Collins and JWH up against Clemmer. You got Brandon Smith and Appy Corusau in the hooking position. Oh, that's absolutely mouth watering. Like this, this should be like a finals game right here. Now, the Roosters need to keep winning, and I think they will win. I'll always tip my Tigers, but I think the Roosters are going to get here. But as I said earlier in the week in my debrief, thinking back to the last time the Tigers in the finals getting knocked out by that dirty brace and Astor field goal. The knockers out of the semi-finals after a turnover from a scrum. Oh, it still haunts me to this day. Um, was it nine years ago? Was it eleven years ago? I can't even remember. It's uh it's a long time ago. Anyway, uh this could be the Tigers' little uh way to get back to the Roosters after all these years. But look, if I'm a betting man, and I am, I'd probably put my money on the Roosters here. Uh, a lot more to play for. Um let's move on now. Raiders Broncos, big game, big game in the context of where everyone's going to finish. Look, the Broncos even points with the uh, Panthers for and against. They're about a hundred points behind the Panthers, so I depend, they've got to win both games. And Panthers have got to drop one realistically to uh, to get the minor premiership. I mean, I don't know how keen the Panthers are on getting it. They've already got the last two. Raiders, they're sitting on 32 points. It's, I can't, there's no possible way for them. I, I, I don't think it's mathematically possible. So if the, Ra- the Rabbitohs will go to 30 points this week, and if they beat the Roosters next week, they'll go to 32. The Cowboys win two games, they go to 32. The Raiders can actually mathematically miss the eight, but I doubt it. I just, they beat the Broncos early this season, um, like and beat them well. It was an upset win, and it was in Brisbane. So obviously now Raiders at home, everything to play for. The Broncos team looks really good, but no Adam Reynolds. Um, for the Raiders, you got uh, Jack Whiten and Seb Chris that are named on the extended reserves bench. But I think Frawley did a really good job in the halves last week, and uh, Rapana's been huge at the back. This could be a this could be a little slip up, and this could give the Panthers the minor premiership, pretty much almost sealed up for this week. Like, ah, how can you tip against the Broncos though? Like, you know, the Raiders won, yeah, won, but weren't convincing. Uh this is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I don't. I just don't know how. Like, I could tip against the Broncos. Um. Just with all that talent and, you know, the Raiders beat the Bulldogs last week. What am I even thinking? Uh, even without Adam Reynolds, I think the Broncos go on and win here. Tip of the Broncos. Um, moving on to Sunday now. All right. Bulldogs, Seagulls, absolutely nothing game. Um, yeah. I really, really don't know. Uh Man, oh, Ruben Garrick is extended reserves bench, but they've named uh, Cooler at the back. So 
under the high ball. If you're Matt Burton, are you just putting up a super bomb all day and just just haunting him all day? This is the way that the Bulldogs can win here. Um, obviously, DC and Jake Arthur's looked really good together, but so has Matt Burton and Toby Sexton. Um, yeah, pretty evenly matched forward pack as well. Good to see Benny Tavoyevich get a start again right next to Jakey. Oh, this is a this is a this is a oh, Tavita's still in there as well. He wants to quit and go to boxing. Do you not just put a young fella in on the bench instead of Tavita? Like, what's the point of playing him at this point? Um, geez, oh. I don't know. If I had a coin, I would flip it right now. I'm gonna say the I'm gonna say the Bulldogs just because Matt Burton should be bombing all day to the Seagulls fullback, and there might be some knock-ons and some turnovers, and the Bulldogs will get a try. I'm gonna tip the Bulldogs in an upset over Manly. Final game. Wow. Absolutely. If you're not doing anything at five past four on Sunday, this is the game of the round. The Knights versus the Sharks. Like, Knights are on an absolute tear. Like, they are just seven in a row, humming up against the Sharks, who struggle to beat anyone in the top eight. The Sharks have turned the corner with Connor Tracy and Braden Trindle coming into the team. has really steadied the ship. And Nico Hines is starting to play well. Jacko Hastings has been named back after being injured last week, but Adam Clune came in and did a fantastic job. Just everyone in the Knights is in form. Uh, the Sharks, Ford Pack, even the guys coming off the bench like Royce Hunt, Jack Williams, Hazleton are all been running hard and strong when they're coming on. Oh, the, the Sharks bench looks a lot stronger than the Knights bench. Oh, the halves are just a great match of just talent and just, just hard work. The, oh, the back five for both teams are just littered with talent. This is, I got burnt last week in my tips because I went against the Knights. So do I stick with the Knights? Oh. So the last team to go on this absolutely mad run and win a premiership was the Tigers in um, 2005. And I think I've said that before. They went like 10 in a row to win. Uh, you know, if if the Knights win this premiership, this year, they're going to have to win about 12 in a row. Obviously, their position in the ladder is not set in stone, so they need to keep on winning. They probably they probably can get away with just one more win, and that will secure them because one more win will get them on 33 points. Oh, wow. Sharks. Sharks are already on 32 points. Yeah, they probably still need a win to guarantee them. A uh, finals berth. I mean, 32 points is pretty safe. And the Sharks are playing the Raiders in the final round. Wow. That's huge. The Knights are only playing the Dragons. The, the Sharks really do need to win this. But am I going to burn myself? I tip against the Knights again and the Knights at home. Oh, I don't know who I can pick here. This is one of the hardest games of the round. Oh, I really need to start these podcasts with a coin in my hand. Ah, oh, okay. I'm going to go with Knights. Knights to get eight in a row. Oh, God. I, w- I want to change it already. Knights at, no, they're at home. Knights to win eight in a row. They're at home. They're on fire. Stick with the Knights. All right, all right. Recap time, recap time, recap time. Righto, where did we start? Panthers, Eels, I'm going Panthers. Warriors versus Dragons, I'm on the Warriors. Dolphins up against Cowboys, I will take the Cowboys. Storm up against Titans, Storm absolutely in a canter. And I think I said the same thing last week. Roosters up against Tigers, go my mighty Tigers. But I need to, I need to tip the Roosters. I need to tip the Roosters because the Roosters are going to make the finals, I believe. Um, then we've got the Raiders up against the Broncos. I've got to stick with the Broncos. I can't tip against the Broncos. Bulldogs versus Seagulls. I'm going with the Bulldogs in an upset. And I've been on Manly all year, but I'm tipping Bulldogs. Knights up against Sharks in the final game. I'm sticking with the Knights. 
And you know what? I could be the Knights. Uh, I could be a Jinx or a Bogey on the Knights here, but I'm going to go with the Knights. Rabbitohs with the bye. Absolutely need it. Now, bet of the week. Let's get around bet of the week. So uh, I'm going to go to the Bulldog Seagulls game. Let's get a whole heap of anytime try scorers here and a whole heap of tries. Uh, I think, you know, both teams playing for absolutely zip. I think they're both going for a 13th place finish, 12th or 13th. Anyway, uh, let's get some try scorers. So, as I said, I think Matt Burton's going to be putting up some mega bombs for the back three for Manly. So, I think we're going to get some. Uh, I think we're going to get some try scorers. So, I think I think Blake Wilson's going to get a try from the Bulldogs. Jacob Carraz going to get a try for the Bulldogs. Josh Adakar for the Bulldogs and Jason Saab. That's four anytime try scorers because Saab has been absolutely walking him in lately. So we're going to go with Wilson, Karaz, and Adakar for the Bulldogs. Jason Saab, anytime try scorer, four manly. Um, put those together. I haven't even checked the odds yet, but uh, that should get you quite a, quite a nice little uh, anytime try scorer. Same game multi. Yeah, fantastic. Wow, round 26. Can you believe it? It's already this late in the season. Uh, what an absolutely fantastic season so far. So close to finals. A um, couple of absolute bangers of games this weekend. If you've made it to the end, thank you very much. Please uh, like, subscribe, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. Just whatever you need to do. Uh, wow. Peace out. Say less.